The IBM Forms Designer has many features that allow you to quickly and easily create dynamic, interactive forms that serve as the front end of your enterprise applications or business processes. I'm John Boyer, the Distinguished Engineer for IBM Forms, and I'd like to give you a basic introduction to this design environment in this video. We have other videos available that provide you introductions to some of the more advanced features that are available in this design environment. I'm going to start with creating a new form. You could start out with a blank form or you could create a form from one of the templates that ships with the product or you could add your own templates that allow you to define the look and feel of all the forms in your form library. This template includes a wizard experience that allows you to provide a step-by-step -step experience along with a more traditional 8.5 by 11 paper view of a form uh, and allows you to say how many steps initially there are but you can add more steps later on if you want to. So I'm going to hit finish on that and that's going to generate the starting form for us after which we're going to be provided with a dialogue here that allows you to uh, configure some of the key parts of the form like what is the default font to be used or font color or what is the theme color that's used for borders and buttons and that sort of thing so I'm going to hit OK on that. The design experience has a central visual design canvas in the center that shows you what the form is going to look like it has a palette of drag and drop objects that allow you to create user interface objects on the design canvas. Down here on the bottom left you have uh, an array of drawers that allow you to do things like look at an outline of the form, uh, look at the web services that are available in the form, or examine the form parts which are the reusable components that may have been used within this form uh, from your library of reusable parts. Over here on the right hand side we have more of, of the advanced view. As you click on objects in the design canvas you have the option of being able to manipulate their properties from this properties view. You also have some very advanced property uh, views at the bottom for manipulating enclosures like for data or schema or what have you. Uh, the XForms model for setting up uh, formula calculations or constraints or what have you. And the instance view that allows you to see the underlying data model for the form. For any of these objects on the design canvas, you can just double click them at any time and get a, a dialog that presents the most important pieces of information that you might want to manipulate about that object. For example, I double clicked on that image label, so now I'm able to do things like choose an image file uh, for that image label. Once you release the dialog, you can always manipulate the layout uh, of, the form par of the form components uh, using drag and drop uh, techniques. For some of the objects, like this textual label here, if uh, you single click it, then you're able to directly manipulate the most important property, which is the text that it contains. So I'll go with a blue cluster healthcare in this case. Or you could double click it if you wanted to manipulate some of the other properties uh, and you didn't want to get into this properties view on the right hand side. I'm going to now use the uh, palette on the left here to uh, click and drag the formatted HTML or rich text label to give you an example of uh, what that looks like. So I'm now going to set up a rich text label here. I will type uh, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, but then in order to make this rich text, I'll uh, maybe create bold there and might change the fox to actually being brown and then I'll underline, italicize. You can uh, create superscripts, subscripts, uh, bulleted and numbered lists. Uh, you can change the font here to accentuate how incredibly lazy this dog actually is. Uh, and you can even add links so in case somebody doesn't know what a dog is they can go and find out. So this kind of uh, thing is really good for uh, creating the uh, you know, terms and conditions of legal agreement or uh, you know, for creating sort of banners at the top of a form or also for displaying uh, rich text that may have been edited with a custom HTML extension such as the Dojo editor which can be placed uh, on the uh, face of the form or in a dialog. Because this rich text is actually available uh, you know, during display time, but also in print.
as a final example here, I'm going to show you a you know how to create an interactive uh, text entry field here. So I'm going to just uh, pop an entry field on here, and I'll hit OK. <coughs> And in this case, I actually I, I want to not only have a field, but maybe I'd like to have one where you have to type a value less than or equal to 10. So in that case, I'm going to open up the XForms model, and I'll right click, and because I want to create a bind. And the first thing I want to do is I want to bind uh, the data element that this field operates on. So uh, rather than specifying the data, you can actually click on the design canvas, and it will figure out what data that is bound to. And then I'm going to go over to the model items, and I'm going to say I'd like to do a constraint. I'd like to do a constraint on a data element. And it's the same data element, so I'll just pick the field again, and that'll pick the X path for me. And now I'd actually like to choose an operator such as less than or equal. So now I've chosen a less than or equal, you get the immediate visual feedback that the expression isn't correct right now. Uh, and that's because I'd like to say less than or equal to 10. And as soon as I correct that error, you see you get the visual feedback for that. And now you're basically done setting up a constraint. So that concludes this introduction to the design experience for IBM Forms. If you'd like to learn more about IBM Forms, come to our website where you can get more in-depth information, case studies, and free trial downloads. Thanks for watching.